Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we're going to go continue learning about the vertex subject mode and uh, under vertex uh, we did have some more tools uh, like remove and uh, let's start with a box <coughs> and talk over that uh, from there. If I add and it's poly uh, I'm going to hit one and you can see that we have remove, break, extrude and chamfer and connect. Uh, these four tools are a little bit advanced so I'm going to show them to you in later lessons but for now let's focus on these five tools that we have. Now uh, first thing is remove. Uh, let me show that to you uh, with this. If I select one of the edges I'm going to hit two first. I'm I want to create hit ring and create a connect. And I want to do the same thing for this edge as well. And now I have a new vertex in the middle. And if I hit remove, you will see that it will remove that vertex and the edge is connected to it. So if you want to get rid of any vertex, you can use this. Uh, it, it behaves a little bit weird because it also tries to smooth the end result if uh, when it gets rid of these edges on the corners so I, I wanted to add these new edges and show that to you in a new uh, vertex uh, in a new vertex that's in, in the middle of a face uh, but let's see a plane and you can see that it's not that complicated if I just have these two new edges if I add an edit poly hit one select this edge and hit remove you can see that it removes that uh, vertex okay and the shortcut for this is backspace, by the way. If I select this and hit backspace from the keyboard, it also removes that vertex. You can remove these as well. And you can see that we are back to our original plane. Uh, let's delete this for now. And if you ask why didn't we use delete uh, uh, and we have used remove instead, uh, let me show that to you as well. If you go to... Uh, the vertex mode, select this vertex and hit delete, you can see that it re literally removes that vertex and the edges and the faces connected to it and it just deletes that, it just gets rid of everything that's connected to it. So with remove you can only uh, or just delete the vertex or not, let's not say delete but remove I guess, uh, it only removes that vertex, okay, that's very important. And I also recommend you to get used to not just hitting backspace but control backspace which we'll talk about the next lesson because in the edges uh, we, we are going to use remove uh, tool more in the edge mode and in the edge mode if you hit control backspace then it also gets rid of the vertices that, and, but I'm going to show this to you in the later lesson but for now let's just keep in mind that remove doesn't delete the faces but only the vertex and the edges okay okay let's delete this box create a plane for the break tool now let's do the same exercise we did in the previous lesson I'm going to attach these two together and then weld them with target weld and you can see that we have a joint element from these two faces now what break does is if I select this vertex and hit break you can see that if you select any of these and move it, it undoes the weld, uh, literally, I guess. Okay, if you break a vertex, it breaks it into its separate vertices, let's say. Okay, uh, it undoes the weld. Uh, okay, uh, let's undo everything and yeah, this is welded. If I hit break, then I will select this and you can see that they are separate now. Okay, let's uh, talk about the extrude. For that I'm going to use a box. And let's add some uh, segments from here this time. Uh, I don't want to go through connect again. I'll ch uh, let, let me set some dimensions as well. Let's uh, set this to 50 by 50 by 10 and 3 by 3 by 1. Okay. Now uh, if I add an edit poly on top, hit 1 and select this vertex for example. If I extrude this you can see that we can set a height and a width for the extrude and it creates a spike-like thing uh, from the object. If you want to add needles or spikes, for example, you can use this. But 
mostly I use this to create a capitone, I guess. Uh, I don't know in English am I saying this right? I, let me check. I guess. Kilted cushion, if we want to create a kilted cushion. Let me show what I mean. Chesterfield was the name of this. Uh, something like this, for example. You can use this. It's very useful uh, for creating those type of uh, geometry. If I just select these vertices, for example, and just m push this down a little bit. And if I had add a turbo smooth on top, you can see that right, right away we have some kind of a geometry like that. this. Of course, this is a base geometry. You can edit this further uh, a lot. Um, but let's talk about that in a later lesson. I, I, uh, let's create a uh, geometry like this throughout these lessons, and you can you will be able to see how to create uh, that type of a geometry. But this is uh, this is the way we will begin <laughs> doing that. Okay, we also have chamfer uh, in the vertex mode. If I select this corner, uh, I have a chamfer mode, and you can see that it breaks that corner to three, or uh, if it's connected to four edges, it will create a uh, it will create four extra vertices, and it will break that corner like this. Okay. Uh, because, because it creates rectangles, it's not really very good. Uh, we usually use the chamfer in the edge mode, but for now, uh, you can see what it does at least. And lastly, the connect tool. What this does is, if you select two vertices and hit connect, you can see that it connects those two edges like that. It's kind of like the cut tool. If you the cut tool is here, by the way, if you click on this, you can just do this more freely uh, but this is uh, handy sometimes as well okay these are the tools for uh, edit vertices uh, now we are going to go through edges borders faces and elements and we do have a lot of new or different techniques uh, under edit edges edit borders uh, as well uh, bear with me throughout these lessons some theoretical lessons and then we are going to create uh, a lot of real life examples and i i want to show you uh, like today or uh, the lessons before i'm trying to show you some real world examples as well and try to make you think um, over those while, while we're learning these theoretical things uh, always i want you to always think like how can i use this where should i use this um, and if you do that uh, in time it will try uh, become more clear and uh, clearer along the way and you will be able to start to model uh, things you want to model okay okay thanks for listening i hope this was useful uh, if you find it useful please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button thanks for listening see you in the next lesson